the name of Jesus. Greetings. Greetings to our dear Pastor Winston. Bless you. Mr. Castle, God bless you. Good bless to you. be here. Bless you. Mother Mills, God bless you. Bless you. And our dear sister Joyce. Bless you. Bless and our lovely set of musicians. <laughs> And in the last time, we're going to have a party. We're going to have a party. It is it. I didn't know what you were going to be. Praise the Lord. But God Amen. bless you. Uh, you know, they're talented men. They are. And I love it. I love it. I Amen. love it. God bless Amen. you. Praise the name. The Lord is good. Yes, he is. He's greatly to be Amen. praised. And, Amen. you know, we were singing and I saw Sister Mel, Mother Mills get up and start dancing. said, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this. It must be the Spirit. It must be the Holy Ghost. You know? So, yes, it is. The Holy Ghost is moving. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now we're so blessed. You know? Good to, good to see you, Mother Mill. I know we were always I seen you and talking to you on the Zoom. But God bless you for being here tonight. Amen. Today. You know, I, you know, I look at the church and I said, boy, look, it's half empty. But what is it? God is here. You know that Jesus knew that the time would come. Yes. That there would be few. Yes. So God he lay, he, 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 he lay the ground. Amen. He said, if there are twos or threes are yes. gathered. Yes. And you know, brethren, if we know that God is here, Amen. we don't business with God. No. Just give him we don't business with God. Yeah, right. Would you which would be better? Would it be better to have a church full of people and God not in it? Yeah. yeah. Which would which would be better? A church pack. But God is not in it. What you know? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in a church packed with God not in it. I would like prefer to be in a church with few, but God is in it. And I feel the spirit of God, brethren. I feel the spirit of God moving, and I am blessed. I am blessed. God is good. Praise the Lord. I'm blessed. So the Lord put this word somewhere in my heart. Have you got it the Bible way? Have you got it? Because when we look at the world today, there's so many different people telling you so many different things about so many different things Amen. about how they expect us to God and know God. Yes. But the Bible says there's one God, mm. one Lord. So if when we get to heaven, we will see one God. We won't see three or two, we will see one. Because the Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord. So people have all kinds of doctrine. They talk about different thoughts of religion, different thoughts of God. But it's only one God. And God was manifested in Jesus. So, you know, God is not a stranger. God is not a stranger to us, as children of God. He's no longer a stranger. Because God was manifested in the man Jesus. He walked on earth. He was among us. He was among his disciples. He taught them. He walked with them. We see he did wonderful things. He did he healed the leopard. He, he, he raised the dead. He opened the sight of the blind. He gave the beatitude. He fed the multitude. Yes. And everywhere he went. So how can we say we don't know God? Who don't know God? We know God. Amen. We know God. Yes. Through Jesus. So we have to have it. We, everyone must have it the Bible way. Amen. And the Bible way is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to go to some scripture with you. Praise the Lord. Lord. Put the scripture in my heart. Take it from Hebrews. Um, Chapter 12. Um, Hebrews chapter 12. Praise the Lord. Uh, I just want to say, Sister Rose, send her greetings and say, I'm so unfortunate that she wasn't going to be here with us, but she sent her love and our greetings. We send her highest regards to her. Amen, amen, amen. 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 God bless amen. you. So I'm going to read Hebrews chapter 12. I'm going to read from verse, from verse 14 down. It says this, follow peace with all men and holiness, Amen. without which no man shall see the Lord. Yes. Looking diligently, lest any man fall, fail of the grace of God, 
least any bit roots of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby many be defiled. Least there be a fornicator like person, a profane person like as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For he know that afterwards when he would inherit the blessing he was rejected for he was found for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it earnestly with tears. For he had not come to the mount that might be touched and burnt with fire and unto blackness and darkness and tempest. And the sound of trumpet and the voice of the words which noise, which voice, they that heard it entreat that they would not be spoken to them anymore. I just want to look at those verses before going further. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So the Bible tells us to follow peace. Because our God is a God of peace. Yes. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Yes. Without Him there is no peace. Yes. Follow peace unto all men yes. and holiness. Yes. So we know that our God is a holy God. Yes. He's a righteous God. Jesus was the only man who ever walked on this earth without sin. Jesus. So he wants us. We, we, we are called out of the world. When I was in the world, I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about anyone. I just do what I wanted to do. I just say what I wanted to say. No man tell me nothing because I am my own boss. But when I come to Jesus, I have to relinquish all the self will Amen. all the you know the self that I am I, you know no, you know on all this thing I have to relinqu rel relinquish yes. and submit myself to Jesus yes. Amen. there Amen. was a time before I got saved yeah. no man could step on my toe and get away with it Never. but when I come to Jesus I see things differently yes, yes. peace I see peace, peace. yes, yes. Because I see joy, yes. I see yes. hope, yes. I get understanding, yes. which I never had. So follow peace. Follow peace. Follow peace with all men. You know what that means? That means we, we should not have any contention with, with nobody. No contention, no argument. Peace with all. We, we are peacemakers. Amen. Because we are called to be children of the peace. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers they because they shall see God. Amen. Uh, peacemakers. Yes. That is the difference, Virgin. That is the difference that we have. Looking on, looking least. It says, verse 15, any man fail the grace of God and any root of bitterness springing out trouble you and hereby be defiled. Yes, so God. that means we have to stand on our cues. Please and cues. Please and cues. Yes, we have to walk circumspectly. Thank yes. you. That is the road we are on. You never see people, you ever seen a man walk on a tightrope <laughs> and you see him have a piece of string and balance and himself still, yes. and you say, how oh, the man do it? Yes, it's true. If the breeze catch him, in order to balance himself, how does he do it? Yes. But this is the way we as children of God have to walk as if we are on tightrope. Yes, we have to. We are, sp we are walking on spiritual tightrope, Pastor Winston. Yes, yes. yes, Everywhere we go, because the enemy is on every side. Yes. yes. And he's attacking us on every side. Yes. He can use anyone to attack us. Amen. Yes. And get us to be, get bitter. Yes. The Bible said, root of bitterness. Yes. Just a little, you know, we show a little seed and it grows and it germinates. And if we don't watch, we don't step on it, yes. it will go up. Yes. 
and he will start to control us the root of bitterness. We have to be diligent looking for that root of bitterness and step on it. Leave any root of bitterness trouble you and defile you. It says, least any living or fornicators, not profound paid person as Esau. Esau, Esau, son of, son of Jacob. Yes, so Jacob had Esau, and he had um, Joseph. Um, Esau, and he had Esau. Esau was the son of Jacob. Ja- Jacob. And so we see that Esau sold his birthright. Yes, he sold it out. Esau went hunting, he was a hunter. He went to the field, he come back tired and hungry. And Jacob was cooking pottage. And he said, give me some of the pottage. And Jacob said, only if you sell me your birthright. And he sold his birthright. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Mm-hmm. It didn't take his blessing seriously. No. And sometimes, you know, people are blessed and they don't take the blessing seriously. No, that's true. We have to take our blessing seriously. Yes. It's a serious thing. It is. It's a one shot. Yes. One shot. We get a one shot yes. for our blessing. And Jacob realized he mm-hmm. wants the blessing. Some people have to work for the blessing. Some people get blessings just like that. Just like but Jacob wanted the blessing because he knew the value of the blessing. Yes. He knew it. Esau never knew the value. No. So Esau said, what, what good is my birthright to me? And I'm starved. You see something? They talk about the belly. Don't let the belly control you. Because what happened to Esau is belly control him. Yes. Belly control him, man. Can't make your belly control you. You have your birthright. And because you need to fool your belly, you're going to sell your birthright. The Bible says he sought repentance because when the time come and he was to be blessed, he lost his blessing. My God, we are to respect the blessings that God give us. We are to treasure it. We have, the Bible says here, in earthly blessings, a treasure. In earthly blessings, the Spirit of God that He gives to His people. We have treasure in earthly blessings. In us, dwell the Spirit of God. In us, what more can we ask? In the old days, the patriots and prophets, the, the Spirit of God overshadowed them. But after Pentecost, mm. they were in fear of the Spirit. Mm. Inside, mm. we have treasure. Yes. My father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on gold. Mm. Don't say you're poor. We're not poor. No. We are rich. Yes. We are millionaire. We are rich. Yeah. Because what God has given us and what God has given us will not perish, will, will not rust. Praise the Lord. So Esau sold his birthright and he sought it in tears. Can you imagine? You want your blessing and you have sold it, you can't get it back, it's gone. It was no room for repentance. And God says, Jacob I love, <clears throat> but Esau I hate. How can we sell the blessings of God? How can we give up the blessings of God? For it says afterwards, he know that when he should inherit the blessing, he was rejected. And he was, and for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it with tears. You know that sometimes people can say, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then no sorry. I'm only saying I'm sorry, lip service. God don't want lip service, you know. God deal with heart. It's not the mouth. That's why God said, that's why Jesus said, it's not what go inside the value. You You can eat anything. He said, I'm Muslim, you don't eat pork. You can eat pork, man. It's not what go inside of you. 
God defile you. It's what come out. Amen. Because out of the heart. Yes. And God is dealing with the heart. Amen. Amen. God deal with the heart. Yes, he does. And that's why God, when God was looking for a king after Saul disappointed him. Yes. Many men have disappointed God, you know. Many men Many. have disappointed God. Amen. And when Saul disappointed God, God saw in Israel a man mm. after his own heart. You know, so we can have God's heart. Yes. We can have the heart of God. But our heart has to be clean. Amen. We have to wash it okay. and cleanse it in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. So I want to say now, for he, so it says, after he saw the blessings, he could not find the blessings, even he sought it with tears. For he had not come unto the mount that might be touched or burnt with fire, nor with blackness, nor with darkness, nor tempest. Now this is when Moses went up on the mountain and came back down. God said no man should go near to touch the mountain. That's right. And that was the dreaded how God was looking at man. God was not tolerating no, no sin. And so anything that touched the mountain, they would, if an animal they would be trusting with, they would be killed. Moses came down from the mountain. God said, come up to the mountain. Moses went up to the mountain. Talk with God. The Bible said, listen, the Bible said, God, Moses talked to God man to man. Moses talked to God man to man. Yes. Like how me and Pastor would say, and talk man to man. Yes. Moses talked to God in that fashion. Yes. And yet when he went up to the mountain, the Bible says Moses said, it was in verse um, it says Moses said quick because of the awesomeness of God. He feared yes. because God was so awesome. The power, the grandeur, the beauty. He said to God, let me see you, Lord. Let me see you. God said, you, you can't see me. But I will pass and you will see my back. Yes. You see back. Yeah. He couldn't see the face of God. No. Because he's holy. Too much glory. He's glorious. Yes. He's beautiful. Yes. He said, No man can see my face and live. Yes. But I will pass by the mountain yes. and I will cover your eyes and you can see the back part of me. Oh, glory be to God. And in that, mm -hmm. Moses even talked to God himself, shake and tremble. Yes. And the awesomeness of God. Holy. We don't know what we're dealing with. Holy. We don't see what we're dealing with. God, God is bigger than, bigger than anything we can think about. Bigger than any problem that we can have. Bigger than anything that we... God did. But he loves us. He cares for us. He talks to us. He protects us. He guides us. He heals us. He provides Praise the Lord. So it says, I'll go on and say, in verse, it's, it's, it's verse 19, it says, the sound of trumpet and the voice of words, when the people heard and heard the sounds of the trumpet and the blackness and the darkness, they feared, they said, don't make God talk to us, Moses. You talk to us. Yes. Too much. Don't make God talk to us because we, we, can't, we can't take it. You talk to us, Moses. Praise the Lord. So, no, they will listen. And Moses came down the mountain. And when he came down, what did he see? In a short time, what did he see? They're making idols. They're worshiping, you see? It never take them no time. It never take them any time. God must go up on the mountain and come back. They need to have something. That's what the world is, you know. They need to see something. Yes, tangible. Want to touch? We don't need to see something. We need to have faith in God. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. 
Without faith, it is impossible to please God. They had to have something tangible. Moses was gone on the mountain. And they said, let us make us our God. Yeah. And they got gold together and make the calf. And Moses was wrath. Praise the Lord. You see how we stay? If we don't see something, we can't believe it. Many of us, if we don't see something, we can't believe it. Thomas could not believe. Jesus was with Thomas so much the years, three years and a half, teaching him. He saw the miracles, he saw how he raised Lazarus from the dead. He saw how he fed the multitude, he saw how he gave sight to the blind. He saw so many things and he still, still would not believe. He does not believe. So it's important, you know, that's why we're called, that's why the Bible calls us the household of faith. Amen. Because with our faith, we can't serve God. We can't serve God with our faith. So we are not come now to the mountain, right? That will burn with blackness and sounds of trumpet and terror. We're not come to that mountain. But through Jesus now, we have come to the new Jerusalem. He says we are come, we are not come, um, verse 22, ye are come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, and the heavenly Jerusalem, mm. verse 22, yes. and the innumerable company. company of angels. That's where we come from. Yes. That's where we're coming from. Now, Jesus has made the way for us. Mm. Not to all the tempest and blackness and terror, but to come into the city of Jerusalem, which has given us. And now the Bible says we are now the sons of God. We, we are now the sons of God. To the general assembly, the church of the firstborn, which is written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and the spirit of just men made perfect. We're not perfect in this world. Amen. It's no. only God, only God can perfect us. We cannot Amen. make ourselves perfect. Yes. No. We can live good, we can do right, but the Bible says the spirit of the just yes. make just perfect. Yes. The Bible says he will perfect that which concerneth him. He will perfect us. We're on the road. Amen. We're on the righteous road. We're on the heavenly road. We are heaven bound. I'm bound, oh Lord, for higher ground. Seeking the city of a holier place. I can't remain in this lowly place. I'm bound for higher ground. We are bound for higher ground. We are bound for higher ground. And Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and the blood of his sprinkling, and the and speak better things than that of Moses. Of Abel. 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 Yeah. The blood of Jesus. Abel was the first murder. Cain killed Abel. That was the first murder ever. Mm. His blood went down to the ground. And there was blood because of his blood, the ground was cursed. Yes. Jesus' blood came to change that. His blood came to replace that what Abel did and to give us life and give us hope. Amen. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has never lost his power. 2,000 years ago, he was crucified upon Mount Calvary. His blood has never lost his power. Amen. If, you call, if you call on the blood of Jesus, the devil trembles. So when it says, we are one Lord, one faith, one baptism, we can't talk about any other God. No. We can't talk about any other, other doctrine, but this one, which is the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is the doctrine we preach. Amen. The birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. That Jesus came to earth. His blood was shed to save us. Because the Bible tells us without the shedding of blood. Yes. No remission. No remission. So it took 
the blood of Jesus Amen. to wash away the sins of the world to cleanse the world from sin that's why he died people say that if he was God because the soldier when he was upon the cross I said if you are being son of God why don't you come down and save yourself exactly. but Jesus came he came to die that's why Jesus came he came to die it wasn't he knew he came to die that was the purpose yes. of him coming to die because unless he died we could not have salvation we could not have salvation but because of death he took his blood and he took it up that's why when Mary came to him and said touch me not because I have not ascended to the father in the old days the, the priest had to go in the holies of holies. Yes, that's correct. And he had to be clean. Yes. He would die otherwise. If he's not clean, he can't go into the holies of holies. So Jesus had to be clean to go into heaven to offer his blood to God to Amen. save us. Amen. That's why he said, Don't touch me. Not yet. I am not descended to the Father. Amen. But after he ascended to the Father, yeah. he met with them. He walked with them. Amen. He ate fish. Yes, he he dwelt with them 40 days. Yes. Because he had already done the offering. When he says finish, it's done. it's done. Oh, praise God. Isn't it wonderful? It's the way you have to rejoice. It's the way you have to be glad. It doesn't matter. If, it doesn't matter if you don't dare. Yes. Rejoice. Because we are conquerors. We are overcomers. No weapon that form against the child of God shall prosper. Amen. No weapon. I never fear. I never fear. Because you know what? When you know God, when we know God, we don't fear. When we know God. Because God did not give us a spirit of fear. So if, if we are fearful, it's not God give us the fear. It's not going to give us a fear. We must have cultivated that fear. But God never give us a spirit of fear. Praise the Lord. But he gave us a spirit of love and a, and a, a, a power and, and, a, and a good mind. Sound mind. Sound mind. Amen. So it says on verse 25 now. See that you refuse not him that speaketh. See that you refuse not him that speaketh. Talking about Jesus. Now remember when Moses went, Jesus took Peter, James, and John yes. upon the Mount of yes. Transfiguration. Yes. And while he was up on the Mount of Transfiguration, we can see he was there came beside him Moses and Elijah. And he was transfigured before them. That's right. He became heavenly. Yeah, changed. Totally yeah. changed from human to heavenly. Yes. And they saw him talking, oh glory to God, talking to Moses and Elijah. Yes. Having a little conversation with Moses and Elijah. Can you imagine? They a long time. Yeah. I've done a long time. But them is alive in the Lord. Amen. And he said, I talk with them. Yes. Beautiful. And Peter is always the one who always impetuous. Mm -hmm. Master, it's good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles. One for, you, one for Moses, Moses, one for Elijah, and one for thee. Yeah, it's far more than that. It's not the tabernacle. He heard a voice says, This is my beloved son. In whom I'm well, whom I'm well pleased. Yeah. Hear him. Yes. So now, he that speaketh is him. That's right. Jesus. And it says, if we do not, if any man do not hear him that speaketh, when Jesus speaks, he speaks from heaven. That's right. Moses speaks from the earth. Yeah. But he that speaks, and if they could not contain him that speaketh on the earth, wow. how can they, if they reject him that speaketh from the earth, how? What will happen if they reject him that speaketh from heaven? Amen. Which is Jesus. Yes. 
The word of God is right in the question. The word of God is right. It's correct. The word of, the word of God is right. Yes, it is. Don't follow the word. The word is consistent. Yes. In every way. We understand, we know. We know why Jesus came. We know why he died. Amen. We know why he was resurrected. We know why the Bible says when he died, he went down into hell. What other man can go on to hell That's right. and walk in hell the keys. and go down to hell and walk and took the keys yes. of death, hell and the grave? Yes. Took it. Which other man can do that? No. Only Jesus can go into hell and feel cool. Yeah. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Go down to hell and feel cool. It can make you fire, it can cool the fire, yes. it can change the fire into yes. your condition. If you're hot, it can make you cool. That's right. Only him. Only Jesus. So if they hear not him that speaketh from the earth, if they receive not him that speaketh from the earth, oh, what will happen if they reject him that speaketh from heaven, which is Jesus? Follow the word. Follow the word. He says, um, whose voice? Um, I said, yes, see, that confused, not him that speaketh for it. For if they escape not who speaketh from the earth, which is Moses, how much more shall they not escape that and turn away from him that speaketh from heaven, which is Jesus? Whose voice? His voice shook the earth. But now he says, I will not only shake the earth. Whose voice then shook the earth? But now he has promised, saying, Yet I will no more shake the earth only, but the heavens. Amen. We can't refuse him. Any man who refused Jesus, refused himself, refused their life, reject himself. Anyone who turned away from Jesus, and there's no other God. Anyone turn away from Jesus, rejecting himself. Rejecting life, rejecting hope, rejecting everything that is good. Because Jesus is all. He says, I am the way, the truth and the life. Without Jesus, there's nothing. Without Jesus, there is no hope. Without Jesus, there's no salvation. Amen. Nothing else. No one could tell me about anyone else because I have proven. Amen. I have proven Jesus. I could tell you some of the things what Jesus has done for me. I won't start telling you what Jesus has done for me personally, my experience. He's done it for us. When I was just, when I just got saved, I didn't know there was demons. I didn't know there was devils. I didn't, know was, I didn't know darkness had power. I didn't know darkness had power. The Bible tells us about the power of darkness. Yes. But I saw the, the power of darkness. And it's only Jesus alone could dispel that darkness. Only, only Jesus alone could dispel that darkness. Amen. When I said that, I don't know if anyone will ever see dark. When, when, when night comes down and it's not dark. <laughs> Even in Jamaica, sometimes you see it's not dark. dark. Yeah, we have what we call dark night. <laughs> we know dark night. I think some of women know dark night. When you can't see nothing, you have them like a blinky, them trying to give some light and even they're not helping because it's night dark. Dark night. But we realize that there's something, light is greater. It is than darkness. I experience that light is greater than darkness. Darkness has a power, but light is a greater power. When light comes, darkness must move. And the devil is representing darkness, and Jesus is representing light. So I want to be on Jesus' side. I want to be on the right side, on the bright side. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want to be on the right side, on the bright side. 
Praise the Lord. Praise God. We are blessed, my brethren. We are blessed. Amen. And he says, and the world which sanctified, moving all things and shaken, and that which was made, and that which cannot be shaken remain. This world. You see this world? See this world? This world is going to go. Yes. All the beauty, all the all the beauty, everything of it is going to go. We need to go. It's not going to stay. No. What we walk around and see and touch and whatever, it's going to go. Everything, the Bible says, everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Yes. But we who stand upon the rock, which is Jesus, Amen. we cannot be shaken. Amen. It doesn't matter how great the wind. You don't care how powerful the storm yes. or the tempest. Yes. We are in Jesus, we are unshakable. Amen. And there's things that shall shake Amen. and remove. Yes. But we will stand mm. in, Jesus. in Jesus. Because Jesus reigns forever. Mm. Praise the Lord. He Praise reigns God. forever. forever. That is the God we serve. So one day. Even everything we see now, you know, I, I listen to the news all the time and if you watch what's going on now, mm. there's war everywhere. Yes, everywhere. It's increasing, brethren. Everywhere. In every corner of the world, there's war. There's always one rising up. Nobody's stepping back. No, everybody want to win. Everybody bad. Yeah, everybody mm. want to win. Everybody powerful. Yeah. Everybody, everybody no fear. Everybody have a weapon. Praise the Lord. No, we have to trust God. We can't watch them things then. Keep Amen. your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus, Amen. not on the world. Amen. Jesus has control over all that is. Yes. All the nuclear weapons that them say them have. Nothing compared to God. Jesus has power over that. Amen. Jesus has power over everything. Amen. So when we are in the Lord, we don't need to fear. We don't need to worry. Amen. Just, just trust Him. Yes. Lean on Him. Stand up on His promise. Because they are sure. And the last verse says, Wherefore, we receive in the kingdom that cannot be moved. We receive in a kingdom cannot, cannot be moved. Amen. Nothing can move it. No. That's the kingdom. We receive a kingdom which cannot be moved. Amen. It cannot even be shaken. Amen. That's a blessing, brethren. You know, we come here today because we have, and we, are, we see something in Jesus. We come here because we see something in Jesus. We don't see another way out, but no Jesus. We don't see no other road, God but Jesus. Yes. The Bible way. Yes. And that's why we are here today. Amen. Praise the Lord. So this kingdom cannot be shaken. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptedly with reverence and godly fear because Amen. our God is a consuming fire. fire. Amen. Let us serve God, brethren, with reverence. Amen. Reverence and godly fear. Amen. That's all we need to do. Mm. Serve it with reverence God. and godly fear. Amen. Because of our God. He's a loving God. He is. But with God, yes. He is also a consuming fire. Yes. Why? Because in heaven there's no Pure. sin can enter there. Pure. No sin. No sin. No sin. no sin can enter heaven. Heaven is a holy place. A place of peace and love and joy. Not this not like this world. The Bible says in this world you have I give you the peace, not like this world. Mm. Give it. The peace I give you. The peace that God give us. Pass all human understanding. Amen. Praise the Lord.